Jerusalem. Israeli strikes killed one of Tahani Abu Tama's sons and one of her brothers, she says. But she fears a different killer is stalking what's left of her family. Disease. The World Health Organization warns that Gaza's health care system is collapsing, and worrying signals of epidemic diseases are emerging. Abu Tama's two-year-old daughter is suffering diarrhea, vomits, sneezes and is shaking from the cold and lack of food, the mother of six told the Washington Post from the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunus. The child asks me for food all the time, but I am unable to provide, Abu Tama said. Which forces me to give her anything, even if it is contaminated. Abu Tama, 42, has thyroid cancer. But she's also developed a severe respiratory infection, she says, caused, she believes, by the pollution of war, dust and other particles that linger long after Israeli bombardments. Without electricity or fuel, she burns firewood when available to warm the family. Even though I am certain that the resulting smoke will kill me, she has been able to get care. The family is sheltering in Nasser Hospital, but the overwhelmed facility is providing only limited treatment to the most severely wounded. Among patients and displaced people, crowded together without clean water or sanitation, infections spread rapidly. Abu Tama has no access to medicines. We are not alive, she said. We are dead and have living skeletons. After 10 weeks of Israel's military campaign against Hamas, crowded, besieged, bombarded, famished Gaza is now fertile ground for disease. Staph infections, chickenpox, rashes, urinary tract infections, meningitis, mumps, scabies, measles and food poisoning all are rising, the Gaza Health Ministry and individual doctors say. The WHO is particularly concerned about bloody diarrhea, jaundice and respiratory infections. The United Nations is tracking 14 diseases with epidemic potential, Reuters reported. The risk is expected to worsen with the deteriorating situation and approaching winter conditions, the WHO said in a statement. The conflict erupted when Hamas and allied gunmen streamed out of Gaza on October 7 to attack Israeli communities. They killed 1,200 people and took 240 back to the enclave as hostages. Israel responded with a military campaign aimed at eradicating Hamas. Israeli forces have killed about 18,800 people in the enclave and wounded more than 50,000, the Gaza Health Ministry says. Now, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said this month, health needs have increased dramatically, and the capacity of the health system has been reduced to one-third of what it was. Two-thirds of primary care centers are closed, the WHO says. Eleven of Gaza's 36 hospitals are partially functioning. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees is operating nine of its 28 primary health clinics. Nearly 85% of Gazans have been forced from their homes, and about 1.